Hey everyone, this is Michael Manning and welcome to the T4 Show. In today's video, I want to give you a 24, maybe 28 hour update on the One Plus One. Now, this was uh, quite the roller coaster ride since getting this phone. Uh, it's a great phone, it's beautiful. I plan on doing a ton more videos on each section of this uh, very involved device where you can pretty much tweak it and customize it and do a whole ton of stuff with the One Plus One, which is obviously from a company like Cyanogen. If you're familiar with Cyanogen Mod uh, software, it really does enable the tailoring and the personalization of your Android device to really no end. Uh, but what I did find to be a frustrating part of getting the OnePlus One was uh, the LTE. And if you saw my video from yesterday, uh, I did have a lot of trouble getting any sort of even half decent speeds uh, from the OnePlus One. I think I was averaging at most three megabits down, maybe one, one and a half up, which is nowhere near uh, LTE. Uh, There's quite a few fixes on YouTube, very involved, uh, very tedious, but still did not work. Uh, then I tried one other thing, which was kind of a last-ditch last effort, uh, was going to the AT&T store, and I got to thank Devin and everybody there, and along with another employee who actually had a OnePlus One, the same exact 64-gig sandstone model, and uh, we played around with it, and I thought before going in there, maybe, just maybe if I go in and I take the micro SIM out of my OnePlus One and put it into one of their... AT&T LTE registered devices like the, the rep uh, Devin's uh, Galaxy S5 that once it provisions LTE on that device, then I can pop the SIM back in here and I can get those speeds. So I, well, spoiler alert, it worked. Uh, and I'm going to give you my speeds right now. We're going to do a speed test right here. We are connected to Wi-Fi, but I'm going to show Wi-Fi off. Come up here. As a matter of fact, I want you to see, I have a really nice, cool, crimson cobalt theme with another themes set of icons so just a little taste of the customization uh, that i'm doing already just having this device a little over one day so let's um open up speed test i'm going to put it up here so you can see begin the test and hopefully we will get much better data speeds i i left i haven't tested it since i left the at&t store so let's uh let's try it out let's see what i got here Network communication. All right, let's try it again. That's no good. Finding the best server. Maybe because I just switched off a of Wi-Fi. It's having a little trouble. Let's give it a shot again. Let's cross our fingers. I left the AT&T store. A very happy person. Let's see if it's working properly. Testing the ping. Not getting anything. So weird. Let me go into settings here. So you can see my results that I was getting AT&T store are more in line with what I what I should be getting, especially on the download part. Let's um, that's strange. Let's give it a shot again. I'm gonna put it in airplane mode. And I'm gonna shut off airplane mode and see if 4G comes back up because I have I have at least three or four bars here. So let's give it a shot. Oh please, God, work. Kansas City. Yeah, there we go. Come on. That's strange. I'm going to reboot the phone, and then we'll come back and see if it, if it actually works. Okay, we are back. Let's give it another shot. I rebooted the phone. Let's bring it up, and let's uh, see if it'll find a server. Begin test. I hope it works this time. There we go. Just had to reboot the phone. And that doesn't look good. No wait. Maybe it's my coverage in my in my place. Very strange. Okay, so three and a half down and 1.35 up. What I want to do, he was testing a server somewhere else. Let's change the server. Let's go to 
Let's see where we're going here. He was in Chicago, so let's try Chicago if we can find it. Here we go. Let's go to Chicago. Let's try that. I, I mean, I was getting, I'll show you the uh, speeds I was getting. It must be my place because when I was out there, I was getting much better speeds, although right now I'm getting about four. So it's not a huge deal because my um, my Wi-Fi will take over here. Let's see. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of this, and I just want to show you the results that I was getting uh, before with that. So just to prove it, like I said, this is where I was when I was testing it out at the AT&T store. I was getting those kinds of speeds. So it could be just, just my connection here in my home. Let's turn the, the Wi-Fi on here. I want to show you what Google Fiber does. <laughs> this will be a little bit different just for fun. Let's test the ping right. And the, the speeds won't even hit the top of what I usually get. That's what I wish I got on my phone. I'm got, It's actually more than that. It's just speed test cannot uh, handle more than that. So anyway, uh, I really do like it. And I think it just might be where I'm at. That's giving me a lot of trouble. Uh, but outside, I was getting the same speeds before I did that uh, SIM card activation through the AT&T uh, stored device. So my friend Brian on Twitter, anybody else having trouble with that and haven't tried uh, to activate your SIM card in an AT&T registered uh, LTE device, try that. It may work for you. Now, my next test uh, it will probably be T-Mobile because I've heard T-Mobile has absolutely no issues with the OnePlus One, and I'm very interested to see if that is the case. Other than that, I'm going to continue to do categorized videos on this and see how I like it, and if it still doesn't seem like something that's worth keeping, I know I could probably find a buyer out there uh, somewhere, so maybe one or two uh, that are waiting for invites. So we'll see about that, but for now, pretty satisfied, not right here now in my place, but outside where I was at the at and store. Those are the speeds that I'm very satisfied with. Uh, very disappointed a little bit about at and through the troubleshooting. Uh, I used up about 700 megs of my two gig data plan and they cannot help me replenish that. Part of the troubleshooting thing was obviously trying to speed test it on LTE. So I ate up a lot of my data on that alone. So I'm gonna have to be careful and use the mobile data uh, monitoring on the Android device. Other than that, for $349, like I said, this is an, an insane phone to get for that money. I really can't say enough good things about the OnePlus One, and I got the Google Nail Launcher on there. Very nice. Haven't even begun to use this, and I've rambled on long enough uh, about this phone. Going to continue with the videos. If you have a question, comment, anything like that, please like and subscribe to T4 Show videos, and please stay tuned for the weekly shows coming back very soon. But for now, for everybody here at the T4 Show, thank you, and best of luck on all your future speed testing unlocked phones endeavors.